That would work much, much better if we had a head mountable camera. Yeah. yeah. Try and put that in the budget for next year. Mm. <laughs> and they were playing, and I was the only person that was skanking. And I went to walk away after about the fifth song, and they went, No, no, come back here and show these how to dance. And I was like, Oh, what? I'm absolutely just gonna dance so much. Anyway, right, the question is Right. I mean, you Get the females, they're the most screwed up, man. The females know what's going on. And Jess. Jess? I'm Lindsay. Jess and Lindsay. Hello, hello, hello. Lindsay. Right, I have to ask, what are your biggest influences from the genre of ska? Specials. Specials. 
Yeah. Is that unanimous? I think, I think that's really unanimous. Essentially, the meaning of two tone, like. Well, yeah, yeah, that's where, that's, that's the step, that's the word Jamaican square to Britain. That is actually the definition of it. But you do realise the specials, which is the Prince Buster's tribute band. <laughs> well, were they that's it, that is the, but that. They were really, weren't they? That, that, that is the organic, 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 organic sky is organic, it changes all the time. That's yeah. Evolution the specials, Scar. they really just played a lot of Prince Master songs. True. They, had, they did have some of their own hits, but they just wouldn't be anything without Prince Master. Kind of anything. But then all ska bands are influenced from those that have done it. Everybody's influenced by something else. Prince Master would have been influenced from, like, uh, kind of, like, Orleans Jazz. Scarlet started it all, really. This is more of a debate than I think. Well, to answer that question, that's already the first question, we went over so long. Come back, come back, come back. <laughs> right, you've played with some of my all-time favourite bands, not just ska bands. Am I wrong in saying you've played with the Scatolites and the Selector mm, and the uh, Toots and the Maytals? Yeah, yeah. And that's amazing. Playing with... Beat. Yeah, the beat. Beat to be confirmed. Right. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to say how... Who, Beat Bad Manners. Who did you enjoy playing with the most out of all these Well, we, man, Jess and I are the, the newbies of the band. Well, so we've never played I've been those. in a year and you've been over a year and a half. So, so you just haven't actually played with the band then? Yeah. You have? I played Selector, was my first ever gig. Selector? Um, with Esperanza. Oh, so. And we played Bad Manners regularly, but they're slightly small. Um, That's a huge name. We played Scarlet. them. We're very disappointed that we go over Vegas gigs. Yeah, that was, that's what I was going to say. We were supporting them before you did. That is really the biggest ska band. Right, what do you think of ska punk bands like Operation Ivy, Mad Caddies, Cap Down, King? I like them. Yeah, I, this I is like where it gets divided. How do you think like punk them. crosses over so well with ska that way? I think if. There's some bands I like, like Leftover Crack. I like them, and I know they kind of fall into the the, the ska punk genre. There's yeah, some bands who pass themselves off as punk, uh, pass themselves off as ska. Guys, they're punk with trumpets. They're not ska, yeah. but that's just my punk own personal. Trumpets, that's yeah. my own personal. Uh, some punk of it, yeah. some yeah. of it just isn't ska. I used to play in a ska punk, punk band before I played yeah, together in this band, and I think there's a lot of it's it's closed minded I mean, and short sightedness in. In ska circles, so two tone and old, or the first, second wave ska fans won't listen to newer ska, and third wave right. ska fans will be like, not, not right. listen to the older stuff. Well, and there's people are very close minded about it. I do like it. Does your approach towards ska like just come from playing classical saxophone? So did you? No, I didn't. I learned. I learned saxophone to be in a ska band. I wanted to be in a ska band. I did not that play it. That was your style. And there's nothing more beautiful. But Jessie's yeah, she's Jessie fits my She's got out she, her she, 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 she has. <laughs> right. Seem to do a lot of touring. How do you keep saying on the road? Sorry? How do you keep saying on the road when you tour? Really you don't really tour. We toured once, which was down to pool last year. That was hilarious. How would you keep saying? Sorry? How do you keep saying? It's a loaded question. I think. How would you keep yourself together if you were under extensive tour? I think it'd be fine because there's such an age gap, to be honest, that we keep the guys in check, but they're like our dad's age, just so they look after us over something. <laughs> 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 That's pretty He's my dad's age. He looks after me. <laughs> I'm not really his dad. <laughs> One last question. But you specifically do the sax just for the short one. Uh, a ska band, that's amazing, man. I was really hoping it would be you guys because I love Scar. It's, it's probably in the top five charts. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll just Good. do like a live review and then an interview and we'll release it. Excellent. And then we'll, we'll, put, we'll send you a link. We have an album. I like your page. Permanent Scar. Permanent Scar. Permanent Scar. So we'll promo that. Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't have to. <laughs> 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 plug away. I'm getting all this in anyway. So. No, because we, that's what we do. Please don't 
Facebook.com slash Esperanto Scare. That's what we do for free. We just promo and sign bands. All for the cause. We're we do radio shows and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you hit you up on your Facebook again if you want. That's cool. If you want to play Glasgow, we can get you guys. Oh, definitely. And if you want to be on a radio show, we can do that as well. Yeah. And we'll bring this on. Sounds good. Message us and I'm Jesse Scar as well. So. Cool. Nice to meet you, Giga. Glasgow, we're hell fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Take it That's well. Cheers. <laughs> He's a musical genius, by the way. Everything. Everything. He's drunk. <laughs> He's a multi instrumental mentalist. I as well. And you play it damn well. Nice, man. I can tell there's a lot of classical influence in this car. <laughs> I've got taught jazz bass at high school, so fair enough, it's not the best genre, but it's um, a good step for playing. There's nothing better than walking through a forest stoned on a foggy day and listening to Charles Mingus. That really sets you off. Very deep. Let's see if we get any sense out of this whatsoever, it's going to be a miracle. <laughs> that's what we do. That's it's, it's, it's the, it's the great thing about these things, it's all really kind of like offbeat stuff that we cover as well, so like. Uh, when we put these things together, it's like really different for people to watch as it's well. You know, so, I mean? like Hunter S. Thompson, like just in the moment, there you go, fuck you. Journalism, right? Journalism isn't. Journalism is printing what everyone else wants you to print. Everything else is public. <laughs> you forgot a question, mate. I forgot a question. Chris Herring What's forgot a question. Favorite egg? Fried scrambled boiled poached. Oh, scrambled egg coming from training. I play roller derby. Coming from training, scrambled egg, toast, oh, carbs, yeah, protein. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Score for scrambled. We're, we're going to put a so tally up to see you. Uh, boiled, but so it's so soft so you can dip the soldiers in it. Oh, you're not a fan scrambled of that? Egg, you're, you're scrambled. Protein, scrambled egg, toast, after training, protein, carbohydrates, boom, a bit of veg. <laughs> scrambled. <laughs> so we've got a uh, boiled. Uh, just in case you're wondering, I like my egg. Black and on fire. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out uh, what, what Thank you so much for the effort. Thank you. Hopefully, you get something decent out of it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Oh, we will. Don't we'll send you everything oh, online anyway to your Facebook your and stuff. Page, anyway. I'm not loading it anyway, so. Thanks, guys. Mitchell for coming out. Uh, thanks for watching NHC TV. I love your sound and though I hear many influences in it, who would you say is your biggest influence? Um, I wouldn't say any one person really, but like start the band name comes from the sermons from 1927. Aye. So I heard all these old recordings, like field recordings by Alan Lomax, aye, aye. those kind of rootsy things. Aye. And we took a lot of our uh, feel and inspiration from that and then um, we kind of put the big band sound on it try to do something with it, you know, something different. That's really fucking impressive. Right, you supported the Mavericks, didn't you? Yeah, we did, a couple of connections. Yeah, what were they like to play with? They were awesome, they were really friendly, and uh, we had a great night, obviously. Playing to their crowd was like riding on the coattails of Giants, uh -huh. because they, had, they were a big draw, so it was kind of a, like, so a was healthy... was that the biggest Yeah, it was nearly, nearly 3,000 people ever. in the World Concert Hall, so it was, uh -huh. it was a huge uh, experience for us. Well, they came to Edinburgh again at another gig, and uh, we met up with them and had some whiskeys and yeah, did the business. <laughs> right. You seem to tear a lot. What do you do? Keep saying on the road. Uh, just keep together. You've got to keep together. Yeah, You've got to keep the camera on real. That's a bit of a loaded question. Yeah, not take it too serious, I suppose, and try and keep. Although you're trying to move forward in, in a business sense with a band, yeah. you've got to try and also think about we started it as a bunch of guys that want to have fun and make music together. So we try and keep that ethos as well as try to expand on what we're doing and right. see other places. Right, it's fucking awesome. Right then, what is the inspiration behind the song Brimstone for Hell? Uh, Brimstone for Hell is actually the title of the album and uh, it's not a particular song. Um, I have a song, see, it all, it's all about the sermons. Yeah. So the sermons is the name of the band, and on the album cover, when we were trying to think of a name for the album, I just took the last line of the sermon 
when the preacher's delivering the sermon, he says, and now, the, it's been talking for like six minutes, like ranting on about this train is going to take you all to hell. <laughs> and he finishes up and he says, um, and now the Black Diamond will stop for a while and take on Brimstone for hell. <laughs> and I was like, right, that's the name of the album. So that's it. Samuel but I have written a, I've written a song for the slide guitar, which is based on a, a section of the sermon, which when he talks about confusion junction, okay. he's like, some of you have got confusion in your minds, confusion in your homes, confusion everywhere you go. You gotta go run down to confusion junction to catch a black diamond train. So I wrote a song about confusion junction, about how people kid themselves that they're right on, but actually they're right off. Right off. off the mark, man. You know, I hang up. So, I hang it's about how people. It's about how we we kid ourselves as people that we're doing all right. Sometimes you're on the wrong track, you know, and you got to get back. So what's your main drive here then? What are you trying to put across? What's your uh, message? We, we don't have a, a message in terms of we're not trying to say anything with it. It's more about getting together and the, the spirit that's created with these people is unique to us, you know. Right. It's, it's, I've tried to play with lots of different people and it's always different. So with this band, it's really just this this combination of people and and that's the message is, is the, the energy that's created by that, that unit, you know? And do you feel like you've got something really good going on? Yeah, you feel... Like that's why we stay together and we keep doing it, you know? Because we I love saw you live and that was... Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's the best drug I've, I've taken in this music. Oh. You know? Just getting out of there. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. Um, what's your name? And Chris says. Yes. Toby. And thank you very much. This is Cameron. He's, he's a quiet Cameron. one. Cameron. Quiet one. <laughs> uh, well, we'll, um, I'll do a live review and I'll just tie the interview in with it. I think I've already liked you on Facebook. Ah, you're on Facebook. So I'll, uh, I'll just tie it all in. I'll just send the link up on there. I mean, it's all free. New Hellfire Club, Glasgow. Hellfire Club, that was an old uh, private members club back in the day, Secret Society. Yeah. <laughs> it was. That's the it. Hellfire Club was originally a secret society of artists and writers that used to get together and talk Is about that where they got the It's what it's based on, man, yeah. Oh, okay, right. your, your egg question. Does anybody oh, want to hear a cross ask the egg question? How do you like your egg? Uh, I like it all. Eggs are one of my favourite foods. I like them always, man. I stick them in my fucking ear. Can you pick one? Pick an egg. Pick no, it. they didn't grow on trees, man. Poached. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew you'd get some witty answers out of that. Poached. Scrambled, boiled or fried. I would have to say, I probably eat the most fried eggs. Hey. We're saying it's the best. The sunny side up. Fried. It's that yolk in it. you got to get into that yolk. Oh, you can't oh. be a fried. <laughs> and, then, and then we had boiled when it's get soldiers. I had one like recently, right? This chef's come up with this thing. It's a fucking duck's egg in a pot, like a soup, soup pot, a square egg. And the duck's egg is in it, surrounded by like creamy stuff with mushrooms in it. And the egg looks like it's hard. When you dip in it, it's soft underneath, in amongst all the mushrooms and the cream in that. It's insane. I'm like, how do you? I, went in, I had to go in into the kitchen and I, I was like, chef, chef. That was amazing. That's <laughs> strange because yeah. I'm a chef as well. It's amazing. It's great yeah, and, all, uh, oh, and, yeah. and you must be knocking them out all day. Oh. And like, I, 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 I took my girlfriend in next week and was like, I made sure I told her, I was like, you better make sure good ones can for the missus. Check this, Check this oh. egg, oh man. Look at this eggs. I want a couple of crackers. Hey, probably man. Thank you very much. Awesome set. Nice awesome set. Awesome set. Awesome set awesome Dude, man. Dude. Hey, fucking brilliant, man. Love you guys, man. Everyone is pending some new truth, but just the news. And my thoughts drift like water under bridges back to you. Yep. Melvin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Unexpectedly deep. <laughs> yes, man. Holy shit, mate! Oh, that's no, no, he jumped in. He meant to get it.
I don't think he realised how deep or shitty it was going to be though. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. I'll be joining you for that by the end of the week, I'm sure. <laughs> You're not even going to get the flower. Now that you've been in and got covered in shit, mate. Can I just also mention at this point that this was not my fucking idea, right? <laughs> oh, look. It's got a rocket attached to it. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, is this you? Okay, it'd be awesome. Stood out on the harbor, breakers all the blaze. Wandered through the flat lands, my head all full of weight. Everyone is peddling some new truth or just the new. NHC TV at Kelburn. And really? now for something completely different. <laughs> because I am wet and I'm about to do my second jump, I can afford the luxury of pissing myself. Who is she and where I'll turn a vessel candy? Never was a vessel fair. And as you can probably tell, <coughs> we are consummate journalism professionals. <laughs> We're just taking a wee break out. I don't know if you can see it badly, I feel pure burned. We just took a wee time out for a bit after seeing Samba Yabamba, who were absolutely mind-blowing. Followed them up to the parade up in front of the castle. I can't wait to get my teeth stuck into this review, man. It's going to be amazing doing this one. But anyway, herons in the water. Fucking do it! <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> I'll jump in and I'll end up having to call out the rescue service to come and get me out. <laughs> I've got something to do. What? What? Will I just jump in from here? Will I just jump in from up here? Right. A little bit high. 
some more of the vans on the way back down. But right now, I'm taking a break. So I'm some party, like a goddamn monster, in a roasting pot. I just jumped in really cold water. <laughs> Mr. T ain't got nothing on that, man. Tony, bye. Thanks for watching, NHC.